He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Gadget Professor Show. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. Welcome, everybody. It is Thursday, and we have a brand new episode. We are on show 161. Thank you so much for tuning in. The Gadget Professor is now heard in 170 countries around the world. It is positively amazing, but uh, I thank all you folks out there for uh, tuning in and listening to me. We got several emails this week. I'll try to touch on one or two, but they were fairly interesting emails. And uh, we have a good show tonight, a, a mix of a lot of stuff. Last week's show on geocaching with Andrew Smith was a real huge success. A lot of people tuned in, and if you're not familiar with the hobby of geocaching, you might want to go back and check out episode 160. In fact, one of our, uh, our mentors here uh, uh, actually called us, uh, sent me an email and uh, said that he's been geocaching uh, Warren Andrews for a long time, and uh, he loves doing that, so check that out. If you're new to The Gadget Professor, welcome. We come out every Thursday evening with a brand new show. We are on show 160 right now. Just go to thegadgetprofessor.com, and uh, if you scroll down halfway, you'll see a newsletter button. Just click on that. Put your newsletter. Yeah, put your new <laughs> the newsletter buttons there. Put your email address in there, and you will get the show notes absolutely free. The show notes contain a synopsis of everything that we talked about in the show, and everything is hot linked. So all the URLs, all the stuff, all the gadgets, all the technology, the news that we spoke about is right there in the show notes and you just click it and it takes you right to the article or right to the product that we're discussing and that is totally free you also can follow us on Facebook and that would be uh, Facebook forward slash the gadget professor and actually if you were a Facebook fan of the gadget professor which I hope you will be uh, you'll see here that uh, you see Don Bain right there and I had the honor and uh, privilege and pleasure of subbing for uh, the guru Todd Cochran on Geek News Central uh, this past Monday, and if you click on that, uh, you'll go to the uh, Geek News Central page, and if you scroll down a tad there, if you want to get more of the Gadget Professor, uh, there I am on Monday night. I did that from the home studio, so a lot of fun stuff on the Gadget Professor Facebook page, and it's easy to sign up for that. And then, uh, of course, we have our Rebel Mouse page, which is Rebel Mouse forward slash Gadget Professor. And what the Gadget Professor does is every time there's a new uh, invention or a new product that comes out that's technologically oriented, uh, I tweet a lot, probably 70 to 100 times a day. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, that would be at Gadget Professor. Twitter would be at Gadget Professor. And what this Rebel Mouse page does, and again, it's totally free, is it takes every single thing that we tweeted and it makes a pictorial out of it and it actually posts it to the website that the article originated on. So there's some really cool stuff on the Rebel Mouse page. And if you're into gadgets, uh, check this page out because it changes probably every 15 minutes. It's a very dynamic page. And as we tweet, it dynamically changes the Rebel Mouse page. And last but not least, folks, you can email the Gadget Professor 24 hours a day, seven days a week at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. Love to hear from you, and it's easy to do, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. So let's get right into the show. We have a lot of cool things to check out today. We're going to do our little Who's Been Hacked session, and uh, this is a kind of a, a, a funny but sad article. A lunch hour special, an ATM was hacked by kids. Uh, the two Canadian kids of 14 years old, the dual um, guy's name is Caleb Turin and Matthew Hewitt, broke into the Bank of Montreal ATM during lunchtime at high school uh, by following an online manual for accessing the machine's administration functions. They went to the manual that the ATM machine has, which was on the internet. Oh my God. The security charade continued when the pair, after being asked by the bank's head of security for proof of their hack, they simply um, broke back into the machine and printed off the information, including transaction data, surcharge, profits, um, and the total cash being held in the unit. The ATM 
had, a, had default uh, settings enabled so the kids were easily able to gain access and so on and so forth. Holy smokes. Uh, talk about security or lack of. Moving right along, uh, this particular article hits home because I am home in Scottsdale, Arizona, and a company called P.F. Chang happens to be headquartered right here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and they also have a bunch of chain restaurants called Payway, and uh, the gadget professor uh, on occasion does frequent Payway. So uh, what happened to them? Well, P.F. Chang's may be the latest victim of a data breach. Uh, they not maybe, they are. Uh, the popular Asian restaurant chain said it is looking into a report that unknown hackers stole credit and debit card information and put it up for sale on the internet. Security blogger Brian Krebs wrote on Tuesday that banks have reported data being pilfered from the P.F. Chang's locations in Florida, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and North Carolina. Krebs gained uh, attention last year when he revealed the data breach at a company called Target. We've all heard of them. So this was a monster breach, and uh, it goes on to say that they were being offered on a particular website uh, by the Target hackers uh, for $18 to $140 per card. Now, with a little searching, uh, I picked up another article about the P.F. Chang breach, and uh, this gives a lot more detail, and this actually tells you the, uh, the website where the cards were for sale. Uh, it, it's insanity. So, once again, you know, you can't be careful enough, and actually, if you call your credit card company, a number of credit card companies will have different security uh, uh, solutions in place that cost you nothing, things like having your number change uh, every week, every month, or uh, having a special access code. And at this point, uh, with the hacking being a, a, a normal occurrence on a daily basis, I might check into that and check your, uh, your credit cards. Uh, I have a friend of mine uh, who wrote me an email and said that uh, he was actually on the air doing a podcast. And as he was on the air, he had his, his smartphone sitting right next to him, and he got a, a couple emails directly from the bank telling him that, uh, uh, did you authorize a charge from uh, you know, Connecticut when this guy's in North Carolina? Then he got another one as he's on the air. He said, you know, uh, Florida has just charged uh, 150 bucks. So he uh, immediately stopped recording and uh, called the bank, and his card was compromised. So he had the ability for the credit card company to do an email every time there's a transaction made. And boy, I'll tell you, that sounds like a great idea because you can keep an eye on exactly what's happening by the second. So uh, there we go. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, Twitter Deck has been hacked, and the site was affected by a, 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 uh, a loop, a hole in the uh, security system of Twitter Deck, and people were finding very bizarre things tweeted that they had never tweeted. Uh, that was not too cool, and uh, that's going on now. I think it's been corrected or that security uh, error has been plugged up. So uh, what can I say? You just got to be careful. You just got to be careful. All right, enough of the hacking. Uh, a little fun stuff. Uh, this might be my own opinion. Actually, it is my own opinion because everything on the show is my own opinion. But uh, I, I am a big fan of, uh, as you know, the Rolling Stones. I have seen them personally, I hate to say this, 30 times in concert. And I can name them all off the top of my head. But I won't bore you with that. If you really want to listen to something that's really cool, Led Zeppelin, the first three albums have been newly remastered. And uh, probably one of my favorite all-time groups, right up there with the Rolling Stones. But uh, great music, great sound. The, uh, the, the components of how they remastered this is a, a technological marvel. And uh, if you really want to relive some of the old times, and for you young kids, if you've never heard of Led Zeppelin, I can't ima imagine that you have not, you want to check these three albums out because they are awesome. All right. Now, uh, I did get an email this week from a, a gentleman that was having a, a dilemma, not an unusual dilemma, but the dilemma was he wants to change carriers, and he has five phones on his plan. Uh, I guess his, his wife, his kids, and he has a small business, so he has one or two uh, other people on his plan. And he was wondering how he can make sure that the plan that he goes on, changing carriers essentially, is going to have the proper uh, uh, area of reception, if you will, wherever he goes. He travels a lot, and his business associate, which I think is his brother, travels a lot, and he's really worried about that because he's not happy with the carrier that he has, who will remain unmentioned. So 
really the best place to go for that uh, is a place called rootmetrics.com. And it's your network, it's your city, it's your mobile life. So what you essentially do is just put in the zip code where what city you want to go to, and uh, it will uh, take you to that particular area and give you a, a map of what the reception actually is. So I just put in Scottsdale, and you can actually see. And uh, they have call performance. They have what network, so you can choose AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, uh, you know, T-Mobile, whatever the case may be, uh, Cricket, Metro. They have all, all the big players that are there in that area. They will actually show you that. They'll show you the call performance in that area with the particular carrier you, you, you select, and also the call performance, the fastest speed, the best technology, the whole bit. So they really do a good job, and uh, a lot of people don't know that that site is, is even available. So I would definitely... Uh, uh, check that out and they give you a whole report and you can also uh, test yourself on the coverage app so they have a, co a, a, a coverage map mobile app that you can put on your smartphone and check it out from that standpoint of view right on the smartphone itself obviously you'll want a 30-day trial with the phone so that as you travel around you can actually see that yeah I do get reception in New York City or I don't get reception in Narragansett, Rhode Island, or whatever the case may be, but this is a very cool and very accurate website, and a lot of people don't know it exists, but now all the fans of the Gadget Professor know that it exists, so there you go. So let's move right along. These next two apps, I cannot tell you how handy they have been for me personally, and I'm sure that you will enjoy them too. The first one is called Docs Pal. This is an online service. It's 100% free. It's 100% safe, and basically what you will do is you will upload a particular type of text format. It could be Mobi, Mobi for your Kindle, M-O-B-I. It could be EPUB. It could be a PDF. It could be a Word document. But whatever text that you have, uh, you can upload this, and then you can convert it to a CVS, which is a, a spreadsheet-type format, a doc, which is Windows Word, a brand new DOCX, which is uh, Word 2007, a DJVU uh, uh, file, HTML5, HTML, uh, it goes on and on, uh, PowerPoint, uh, PostScript, pretty much anything you could think of, rich text format. Uh, th there are quite a few of them. It will also convert video files, and it will convert audio files, and it will convert images, things to images, and it will also convert all kinds of ebooks, uh, EPUB. FB2, fiction books, Microsoft Literature, Sony uh, Portable Reader, uh, Moby Pocket eBook, Palm Media eBook. It goes on and on and on, and it will also archive, putting it in a zip format or a 7Z format. So whatever document you have, this will for free automatically convert it to whatever it is you want. A very cool product, and I like it a lot. Here's another product that's similar, and this might be a little easier to use in terms of the interface. They pretty much do the same thing. Uh, I use Online Convert all the time, and basically it says here's an audio converter, here's an image converter, here's an ebook converter, here's a hash generator, which is very handy, a video converter, a document converter, and an archive converter. All free, all available, and why would you use this? Well, for example, I have a PDF document that was given to me by a, a business associate or whoever. Someone sent me a PDF document. And I want to take this PDF document on the plane, and I don't want to bring my laptop, but I want to bring my smartphone, and I don't have a PDF reader. I actually do, but the point I'm trying to make is I can convert that PDF file into a Mobi file because I have the Kindle reader file on my cell phone, or it could be your laptop. It almost doesn't matter what format. These programs are totally free. They work flawlessly, and uh, I like it a lot. And many times I will convert an EPUB book to a Mobi uh, configuration, which will go on the Kindle because my wife has a Kindle. So sometimes she gets books that are in EPUB format, and she doesn't realize that they won't work on the Kindle. So I just run it through this software, totally free, works great. Now here's an interesting app, and this is available for both the Android and for the uh, iOS, the iPhone operating system. It's called Ad Emergency Contact Info, uh, basically for your iPhone 
screen, but you also, there's other apps that are similar that are available on the Droid platform. And what this does is it's a simple tweak to your existing wallpaper that, mu that might just save your life or at least help recover your lost phone. The reason we password protect our phones is very simple. If it gets stolen, the thief cannot access your data. But there's a flip side. If your phone is lost or if you've been injured or someone is trying to call you, there's no way for you to uh, ICE, in case of emergency, access the info. So uh, this is a little app that you can buy. It's a buck ninety-nine, which is well worth it. And you can see the photo right here. It actually puts, if you want, a picture of you, your name, your address, your phone number, uh, your, your cousin's phone number, your mother, uh, any emergency information, health information that you feel is pertinent for someone who finds your phone and they can't, it's locked, but at least on the surface of the phone, what they see is a screen that, it get, that you have the ability to put in whatever information you want. You can put reward for the phone, call this number, however you want to do it, this will let you do it. So it's kind of a neat uh, idea. I like it a lot and it's only a buck ninety-nine. It's well worth it. A lot of apps today, a lot of free stuff. So here's a cool one. I got another email. As I said, I got a lot of emails this week. Uh, this one dude said that he, he'll be watching a Netflix movie at night, and all of a sudden, at like 8 o'clock, the movie, no matter what he's watching, starts to slow down to the point where it's like buffering, or it, 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 it goes off, and then it comes back on, and he, he doesn't know why, and it's every night at 8 o'clock. And he just, he, do I have any ideas? Well, I had an idea, and actually it turned out that I was right. Uh, I felt that uh, given the way he uh, talked about his problem, that someone was probably tapping into his wireless network because he did mention that he lived in an apartment and he had a Wi-Fi uh, network. So what this is is a Wi-Fi network watcher version 1.71, totally free app, works real well. And wireless network watcher is a small utility that scans your wireless network and displays the list of all computers and devices that are currently connected to your network. For every computer or device that is connected to your network, the following information is always displayed. The IP address, the MAC address, the computer that manufactured the network card, and optimally the computer name. You can also export the connected devices to uh, HTML, XML, CBS text file, or copy to, uh, the list to a clipboard and then paste it into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, this works with Windows 2000, XP, Windows Server, Windows Vista, and Windows 8. Uh, this utility can only scan wireless networks that you're currently connected to. It cannot scan other networks. So what's it do? Well, you know what's in your house in terms of your computer apparatus. You know that you have a laptop, and that's on the wireless network. You know that you have a Roku box, and that's on the network. You know that you have a smartphone, and that's on the network, a printer. You get the idea. You know what's in your house. So this will list everything that's in your house. It will also list the neighbor who's next door to you who's tapping off your wireless internet either because his, your password is compromised or because you didn't use a password. And that will show up there. So you might see someone's name. In this case, he did. And it was his next door neighbor. He got home from work. And uh, about 8 o'clock, he decided to uh, borrow a little internet from his neighbor, tapped in, and away he goes. So if you had so much bandwidth, now you have so much less bandwidth because your neighbor's sharing Netflix or whatever he's doing. So uh, this app actually helped them find that, that dude. And he knocked on his door, and uh, they came to an agreement. Let's just leave it at that. Now, uh, rolling right along, here's another cool app available both on the, uh, for the iPhone and Android. And actually, it's available on your computer. It's called Paper Karma. What this app does is if you get junk mail and you're sick of getting junk mail, I'm talking paper magazines and ads and all that junk, what you do with this app, it's totally free, is you just take your, your iPhone, okay, or your Droid, <coughs> take a picture of it and it will automatically send your, you have to put your name and your address in it, but it will automatically send to that particular distributor of that junk mail to cease and desist and stop sending it to you. It's got very good reviews and uh, it works pretty good. It's got five stars. Uh, all versions uh, got five stars and there's been 813 people who have used it. So uh, take control of your unwanted paper mail and help save the earth as seen on TechCrunch, All Things, Lifehacker, GeekWire, NBC, CBS, and a lot of other places. It got the best of the 2012 uh, App Awards. So check that out. It's pretty cool, and of course, it's free. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you've all been waiting for, it's the gadget of the day, and actually we have two gadgets of the day, and we're going to go to camera two, and we'll take a look at these gadgets. Uh, these were just sent to me actually this week, and it's from a company called Aukey, A-U-K-E-Y. Uh, I have, unfortunately, I have never heard of them. Uh, they wanted me to test these out, and uh, I said I will be happy to do that. And uh, here we go. We have two different devices. If we go to camera two, uh, the first device here is this small device. And we'll actually put this down. And uh, Mike, we can go on camera one and we'll open this up. So it comes in a very nice package. This is called the Mini A Lock. And uh, the packaging is very nice. Again, it's from Aukey, A U K E Y. And uh, the packaging is very elegant. And I always like that. That's always a, a preview of good things to come. If the company takes time, to make some elegant packaging. Typically, the product is elegantly made, too. And that's the case with these products. So uh, this slides out very nicely. And we have a piece of very nice vellum. And we have a little flat, which I like, uh, USB to mini USB connector. We'll take a close-up of this on camera, too, which will be right here. And it's flat, so I, I like that, OK? And then we have the actual device itself. I happen to uh, get a blue one to sample. And this is what the power supply looks like. And also very clever in terms of design. They have a little book. And let's take a close-up of the book. Uh, you'll notice the little hole here in the corner, which is right there. And here's the actual device. So they actually mirrored that. And uh, this is a, a, a external power pack. It's a power supply that will supply you with additional power when your cell phone runs bad. And what's unique about this is that uh, you actually uh, can plug in the USB port wire, and then this connects to your cell phone. To charge the device, uh, it's just the reverse. This will go into any USB port, either a power pack or actually your computer. And you would put this in the mini port. You'll see there's a mini port USB and a regular USB. So you're going to put this in here. And now this will charge the system. And other than that, that's the only two features that are on it. Now you're wondering where the on and off switch is. Well, what's nice about this is it's automatic. So as soon as you uh, touch the uh, device, you can't see it, but there's four lights that light up and show you that the device, I don't know if you can see those or not. They're, they're, they're very small. Maybe if I put it in the dark here. Uh, they're very small green lights. I don't think you can see them. But uh, the four lights light up to show you that it's fully charged. If it's three lights, it's 75, 50, and 25% for a one light. So what this will do is there's no switch on it. It automatically senses when the power's on. If you turn it on, uh, which, I, again, you can't see the lights, but if there's nothing plugged into it, it knows that. And within three seconds, it turns itself off so it doesn't take up any uh, battery power. Now, what I like about this particular unit is it's very small. It's very lightweight, and it just fits in your pocket or your purse. And uh, it's a real handy device. It doesn't waste the power. And uh, you can get this on Amazon. And actually, uh, here's the specs on it. This is portable, lightweight. They have different colors to give your Apple and Android devices at least one full charge on the go. And this has a 3,000 milliamp capacity. Now, you know that I recommend power packs that are at least 10,000 milliamps because you can charge almost anything on those. The truth of the matter is they're big and they're bulky and they're heavy to carry. So a lot of people just want enough juice to recharge their phone once. This definitely fills that bill. They're ultra slim. The size can easily fit into your purse or pocket. Superior en energy conversion, more than 90% rate, which is very, very efficient, more so than the most battery packs that are out there. There's no power button, as I mentioned. And the mini lock will automatically charge your phone when you connect it. So you don't have to worry about turning it on or turning it off. It automatically senses that. I like that. That's smart. What's also nice about this is the internal uh, lie polymer battery cells are more stable and safer than the uh, lithium uh, batteries, uh, such as uh, both the iPod and iPhone use. Uh, they're a safer battery. And this has a 500 plus charge recharge cycle which means you can charge you can empty this out and recharge it f at least 500 times maybe a little bit more before the battery just can't hold any more charge so the package includes the um, mini lock external battery and the mini usb cable the instruction manuals and 
the cool part about this is if you go on Amazon, and I'll have this on my uh, uh, show notes, uh, this sells for $18.99, and it's on Prime. That is a great buy. However, I'm going to give you a code as soon as I finish the review of the next uh, device by Aki that actually gives you a bonus and you have a, a code number that I'll give you that will actually reduce the price of this. So let's go on to the next device before we do that. And again, it's made by Aki. Now, again, this one was 3,000 milliamps. This particular device is 8,000. So now we're talking some, some beefy power here. Once again, uh, we'll go on camera two. It has a very elegant uh, box. You just pull this out, okay, comes out of the box. And here we have a flat cable again, a little bit longer. Same thing, USB mini and uh, regular USB. And here you have a completely uh, really nice, almost like a felt cover that's recycled, made out of recyclable materials, pouch that comes with it. And they have a little pocket here. We'll slide this off. They have a little pocket here. And the pocket could be used for credit cards or actually, if you want, you can put the power cord in there and this obviously you can slide the actual power pack in there itself uh, here is the unit it comes in a variety of colors we'll talk about that in a minute and you have a very easy to use uh, guide that tells you how to use it C couldn't be any easier so let's take a look at uh, the construction of this it's very slim it's very light uh, it's white on one side this particular one gray on the other for some odd reason, they decided that they would design this so that you can draw a cartoon if you're so inclined, or whatever you want. You could put stickers on it, and I don't know what the big deal about that is, uh, but if you want to draw on it, you can do that. There's a power switch, which is right here. We'll take a look at camera two, and I'll point the power switch out to you. Power switch is right here, and essentially what you're going to do is press it once, and again, I don't know if you can see the lights, maybe a little bit on this one. These are blue lights. There's four lights. If uh, you can see the lights, it's fully charged. Three lights is 75%, two is 50, one is 25%. And essentially, it has the same functionality. You're going to be able to plug the USB port into uh, the device, and now you'll plug in your iPhone. Obviously, this is not an iPhone uh, adapter, but you could put your own iPhone, iPhone adapter on there. This will be used for the Android. And uh, to charge the unit, it's the same thing. You would put the mini on the side, the mini USB adapter like so, and any USB power supply or port on your computer or your Mac or whatever will charge this up. So let's take a look at the specs. So this is called the AMZ Deal. It's uh, at Moving Life. You can find this on Amazon. I'll have it in the show notes. What's nice about this is the A1 is an 8,000 milliamp ultra slim portable power pack bank. Its external charging pack has a lithium polymer 2.1 amp output. Now, this one only had a 1 amp output, whereas this is 2.5. So obviously, because this is 8,000 milliamps and it's 2.1 amps, you will be able to charge your tablets with this. You will not be able to charge your tablets with this. This is primarily for cell phones. And it, again, it's convenient. Look at the size fits in the pocket. This will also fit in your pocket, but it's a little bigger. So it's your choice, and there's a huge cost differential. It's your choice what one you want. But this one will very easily uh, certainly charge any iPhone or any, any smartphone for that matter, but it goes beyond that. It will do your Google Nexus 4, 5, 7, and 10, your LG, your HTC One, uh, your Motorola Moto, uh, Bluetooth speaker, Google Glass. Uh, it goes on and on and on. The list is here. It got a five-star rating on Amazon, which is pretty good. And uh, this one sells for 30 bucks. It's also available on Prime, which means you're going to get it real quick. An elegant exterior, ultra-slim shape, a simple, fresh design, plus an eco-friendly material. It is not simply an external battery, but it stands and leads uh, to an easy green lifestyle. Go green, AMZ deal. 800 milliamps, capacity 5 volts, 2.1 amps is the output. We already said that, and uh, four blue LED lights uh, will tell you how much battery power is in there. We talked a little bit about that. It has a customized pouch. This makes a phenomenal gift for anybody graduating high school or going into college, or for whatever reason, both of these make excellent, excellent gifts. Now, here's the cool part. This was 30 bucks on Prime, and the 
The small one was 18.99. Call it 19 bucks. So 19 bucks and 30 bucks. This is only available to Gadget Professor fans. I'm not making this up. I just got this email this morning and I was excited about it. If you put in, let's get the codes here. If you put in this code, okay, uh, you can buy the 8,000 milliamp for $22.99. That's a $7 savings. $22.99. We'll call it $23 instead of $30 for this one. And you can buy this small unit for $12.99. That's a $6 discount. Now, for that price, these are no-brainers. I mean, you should just get one for yourself. They're so good. And I'm going to make sure that uh, my son and daughters both have these, especially my daughter, because she talks a lot on the phone. Now, here's the code. This is all you have to do. If you want to get the $7 off, the code is GET7DOFF. And we'll, you'll see that right here in the notes. And you'll also see it on the screen because uh, Mike will put it up later. Maybe, maybe not, but it's get 7D off. Get $7 off. Get 7D off. And on this one, it's the same thing, but get 6D off. So when you're checking it out on Amazon, all you have to do is put the code in, and you'll save 7 bucks on this and 6 bucks on that. I got to tell you, for that price, I don't know anything that even comes close to that in terms of uh, cool design, efficiency, green, if you will and uh, just very light and uh, functional. So uh, those are the gadgets of the day. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you get a chance, check out Geek News Central, uh, Monday's episode. Uh, I am on that, yapping away, and I look forward to seeing everybody next Thursday on The Gadget Professor. So long. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.